So welcome to today's video. Today we're going to look at uh, the V4, what I'm doing about it, when it's going to be done, and I'm going to get some advice from you guys. So I'm going to ask you to leave some suggestions in the comments about how I get it finished. Um, otherwise I'll talk about this. This is my latest mini bike chassis. I know I promised a video on it, but um, yeah, it just fell by the wayside whilst I was doing the Hustler V-Twin. So here it is. It's designed to fit this motor here, a Lifan 140cc. But um, I've currently got an FXR 150 motor. It's just a dummy motor sitting in there. And I have a very healthy FXR 150 motor um, sitting over there. You know, if this video gets enough likes, let's say a thousand likes, um, I'll put the FXR motor in here instead of the life fan, and we'll see how it goes. But that's enough on this. Otherwise, yeah, it's pretty much done. It just needs a couple of mounts on here for the subframe, and I just need to put the fairing and the gas tank on here. And maybe if this video gets the thousand likes, add a front engine mount for the FXR motor. So the V4. It's kind of just sitting here looking like a motor um, all it is is a foam pattern so the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the cassette gearbox great idea if I was part of a Grand Prix team and I had a whole host of alternative gear ratios but I don't and then if we get rid of this oh. We can now cast the engine in two halves, like so. So this is the plan going forward, casting the engine in two halves and doing away with the cassette. So this will be not a true representation because I'll put the part line somewhere a bit more practical, but essentially like this, a far smaller, easier to do casting, far less material in each pore, and then far less overhangs as well and then this this will be the other half except the cassette will, the cassette will, will be one piece so see if I can get it in there for you something kind of like that um, but it will be one piece and it will do away with all the headache of this massive casting but this is where I want your guys' advice. Now, there's option A. I finish designing it, and I get someone, a third-party vendor, to do all of the CNC machining of those two halves, and I just receive two billet case halves, and I just have to bore and ream a couple of final details and put the whole thing together. So that's option A. I outsource it. I've already priced it, and it's going to be about I think it was about 800, seven, 800 US dollars to have that both halves machined in my hands. And that'll be done in a week or two, you know, so that's a pretty good option. Um, there's option B, which is I lost foam cast uh, the rest of the engine and carry on as I have, as I have been. Um, could be more entertaining, but it might take a lot longer to get this done. Or we've got option C, so that's I make some wooden patterns because it's a far simpler shape now. Some wooden patterns and I get them cast at the foundry up the road. So there's a few pros and cons for each. A, um, option A, you don't get to see as much but this gets done really quick and there'll be a V4 two-stroke rolling around. Option B, entertainment, lost foam cast it but there is a lot of time involved. But it is a, a lot cheaper it's the cheapest option and option c in the middle ground not as expensive as option a um, a little bit of work designing the patterns but higher quality casting this is repeatable if anybody wants to buy one off me the castings i'll have a pattern a permanent pattern so i can just make molds willy-nilly and flog off these um castings if people want them that's where I'm going with that so yeah let me know what you want to see option A, option B or option C and 
even why you want to see those options.